Welcome to a new Blue Cat Audio Chronicle. My name is Pierre from the Guitar Channel and I am uh, with Guillaume. Guillaume, how are we doing uh, today? I'm doing great. All right. So today we are going to show you that yes, it is possible to actually play the bass and have gorgeous uh, guitar sound with uh, Axiom. So Ax uh, Guillaume, uh, show us how we do that. Oh. Yes, so there are plenty of uh, presets for bass. Uh, we can see often in, in the 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 software for guitar players it's mostly for guitar players you yeah. have one bass amp but uh, <laughs> here that's not when you're lucky yes <laughs> here that's not the case so if you uh, go to the preset menu here in the factory presets mm -hmm. you can see that the first three actually that's the first three uh, categories are for bass guitar excellent so the first one are for the clean tones second ones are the ones i call bytes which are uh, with a bit of distortion but uh, not completely uh, overdriven and then you have uh, some uh, bass uh, guitar tones for uh, with distortion or fuzz so and it's important to remember that this is axiom which is the same product used for guitar or for bass it's not a separate axiom for bass uh, soft yeah indeed all, all the uh, amp simulations and all the the effects that can be uh, used for both bass and and, uh, and guitar okay um it's all included mm -hmm. there's no extra <laughs> so let's go maybe if, uh, through a few uh, presets yes this one is a bassman <laughs> Strange. <laughs> <laughs> nice, but strange. <laughs> so as you can see, you have either some uh, dry uh, bass amps or some with more effects. Uh, basically, an amp with a uh, room. You have some other uh, tape, uh, some echoes. So many different sounds. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's maybe move to the uh, bytes one. So this one simulates an, um, an amp with an aluminum um, speaker. Mm -hmm. And all the bass amp you have on your preset list are basically based on reference tone from uh, manufacturers? Uh, not only, uh, well, they, they were in, most of them were inspired by uh, real gear, okay. but uh, many of them are actually a creation from scratch out mm -hmm. of the blue, just because this, I, I felt they sound good. Okay. And right now we are exploring uh, the, the presets for uh, the entire uh, Axiom, mm -hmm. uh, which means uh, both amps and uh, effects. But we can indeed just keep, let's say I like this reverb and compressor. Yeah. I can just uh, go through the uh, preset for the... Uh, and just uh, change the, the amp just, part. Yeah, just, okay. just the amp. Uh, so let's try this one, for example. So this one is a bit uh, overdriven, but mm -hmm. it's, it's a vintage type of amp. Uh, another aluminum one more modern type of sound uh, well there are many of them and you can actually create your your own tones as well and let's see some more of our driven one So that's just the amp actually. Uh, we can have some uh, other presets which have both, maybe some uh, distortion pedal somewhere. What's that? Okay. That's almost a synthesizer. Yeah, nice. There are all sorts of, uh, of presets with many uh, different effects. Uh, oh, this one is more for a synth. Man. With some digital fuzz in there. Okay. 
And uh, there you can add uh, many uh, effects that also work on bass, like uh, a chorus, if you want. Mm -hmm. I want some chorus for sure. Never say no to chorus. <laughs> it depends. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm not going to load uh, one of the classic chorus. That's pretty much it. Um, there are many other effects you, you but I'm not going to demonstrate them. Mm -hmm. You have modulation effects, you have compressors, distortion pedals, but uh, most of them are going to work both for uh, guitar or, or bass. On some are dedicated to bass actually, mm -hmm. just like the the amp simulations. Okay. And let's say I want to start from scratch, like I would do uh, at my home or in a studio and start with uh, nothing, just the high tone and see uh, how we can build on this. Yes, so if you start from scratch, you, if you load Axiom, that's the way it's going to look like. So it's basically the eye and okay. there's no, no amp sim, nothing. Mm -hmm. So I think we're gonna, we want to start with uh, the amp. Yeah. So I'm going to show you another way to go through the amps. Uh, so we went through the... So another way to navigate on the presets? Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, so you can open this with this icon. There's a, uh, a preset manager that opens and then you can go, if you want just to change the amp, you click on the A channel because there are two channels. Um, that's mostly used for guitars. You don't care that much for bass. And then I'm going to click on the amp just to select the preset uh, here and there. Uh, and uh, if I go through the factory presets on the bass guitar, you can see all the factory uh, bass, uh, guitar uh, bass guitar presets. These ones are the cleans. <laughs> like and it. turn off uh, the amp just to compare both tones. I like the Hampton. <laughs> it's much better this way, right? Yeah. <laughs> it makes a big difference. Uh, so I'm going to just keep this amp the way I like it. And then maybe I'm going to add a compressor in front of it. There's never enough compression for, uh, for bass. <laughs> um, oh, in the dynamics, I have a compressor. So I'm, maybe I'm going to just try it with a preset, like input smoothing. <laughs> It's not doing much, so I'm going to reduce the threshold. So, okay, that's fine. Maybe I can even do some slap with that. Nice. Works fine. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Sometimes we had some reverb, but not that much on bass guitar. But mm -hmm. if you want to simulate the room, let's maybe load a, a reverb. Uh, so after the amp, maybe in the post effects section. Mm -hmm. uh, reverb, oops, at the bottom. There you go. So that's a bit too much. I think we're going to just reduce the weight signal. So that, yeah, it's more discreet this way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If I remove more natural, it, sounds yes. like we are playing in a room. Yeah. Yes, I can mm. remove it. It adds some. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. It's nice. Mm. Keep it this way, and then if we want to add some effects, maybe we can add uh, some uh, modulation again. A chorus here. You are really into chorus, uh, Guillaume. Huh? I like it on bass, <laughs> but we could add some other, but. Uh, Cool. And when I'm done, I save it. My, I save my preset, and uh, that's it. Yes. So I can click it there and yeah. and save as, and that's going to be my bass tone. And here you go. Cool. Excellent. And maybe we can. Uh, well, you can switch on off the effects. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you like the tone but want to try another amp, you can just switch clicking there. Mm -hmm. Brighter. Excellent. And here you go. 
Here you go. So now you know that you can get some great uh, bass tone out of uh, Axiom. Thank you very much, Guillaume. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>